In this presentation we're going to look at how to select a random sample of cases in SPSS. The version of SPSS that we're using is version 19 and the data set is iris.save. Now the iris.save is not a particularly large data set but it will do. It's It's got 150 cases but when we're usually when you're using this uh, exercise you might have something like 10,000 cases, a massive number. So we're going to do uh, two exercises. First off we're going to select 20% of the cases at random and then we're going to select 15 from the first 140 cases at random. And I just made these numbers up just for the sake of uh, uh, just to to uh, have uh, numbers to work with, so there 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 no there's no particular reason why I've, why those numbers are significant. So let's go here. Here's our data set, Iris, and those are the variables here. But what I'm going to do here is go to the data menu here. So I'm going to click on data, and I'm going to go right down to the bottom here and click on select cases. So I'm going to click on that there. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to look at this particular case here. So I'm going to select this button here, random sample of cases. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to press this. So I'm going to click 20%, continue, and then I'm going to click OK. So just let's see the... that's not important here. What I'm going to do is look at this here. So what has happened here is that there has been 20 cases selected, or 20% of the cases have been selected at random, that should correspond to be about 30. So the first case has been selected, 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th have been selected, and so on, 31st, 32nd, 33rd and so on. Okay, the lines that get crossed out means that these have not been, are the, those numbers that get crossed out there, for example where between 106 and 116, none of those cases have been selected. Now, we're going to do the same thing again. I'm going to uh, go to select all cases first off and OK that, just to undo what I've did there previously. And now I'm going to go back here and uh, go select cases. And what I'm going to do here is a uh, random sample of cases se select so I'm going to select exactly 15 cases from the first 140 continue and OK that and again we should see something very similar here and um, that from the first 140 cases 100 and f a handful have been selected so 9 has been selected 21 has been selected 23, 24, 25 28, 29, 30, and so on. So altogether, it'll be about 15 cases out of the first 140. So there's another one there, 96, 101, and so on. You get the idea. So that is how we would select a subset of um, a data set. P again, the numbers get picked purely at random. And that ends our presentation.